All right. So today I'm going to try to talk to you and give you four reasons why you did not pass the NCLEX. On top of my list would be poor critical thinking skill. Again, you can never pass the NCLEX without critically thinking through your answers on test day. Most people would go on to write the NCLEX with the misbelief that the answers are always going to follow a normal path. It doesn't. You believe assessment would always be the answer. For example, you have this NCLEX question in front of you. And if you look at it, you would notice in the options we have, we have applied. So this would be an implementation option. This would be an assessment option. Again, the assessment answer is not always the right answer. You need to critically think, do I need that assessment option? If you do, then you can go with it. If you don't, then move on. That's critical thinking. You don't jump to a conclusion. You want to think. You failed to think about every question individually or separately on the NCLEX. That's why you failed. You failed to apply critical thinking on test day. That's why you failed the test. Another reason would be poor knowledge of what the NCLEX examination is testing. A total lack of understanding of what the NCLEX is about. Remember, the NCLEX is a minimum competency exam, not a high level exam, a minimum competency safety exam. It measures competency that's required for an entry level nurse to practice safely. It doesn't measure the requirements of a 30 or 40 year old graduate nurse, no. It measures entry level. The National Council wants to make sure you are not going to kill someone in the first three months after you graduate. That is what they are trying to attain. You know, students spend time in school learning only content. Where is the liver? Define hepatitis. What is this? You know, you just go about in school lifting stuff out of your textbook, memorizing anatomy, memorizing physiology. Uh, Again, the NCLEX exam doesn't test memorized information. The, anchor, the answers on the NCLEX are not found in the textbook. They are found in your brain. I repeat, the answers on the NCLEX are not found in your textbook. They are found in your brain. Because if all you did was memorize content, if all you did was to prepare for a content exam, and that is the reason you were unsuccessful. You were expecting a content exam, or you did not see a content exam on test day. Another vital topic would be not being able to find your topic on test question. You can't pass the NCLEX if you're unable to decipher what the topic of each question is on the NCLEX. You must always figure out what the question is asking you. Your ability to get the question correct depends on your analysis and interpretation of what the question is really asking you. This is one skill that is requisite to passing the NCLEX. Let's look at this test question. The nurse cares for a client who was in a motorcycle accident. The nurse's assessment reveals cold, clammy skin, as well as bruising around the umbilicus and tracheal, tracheal deviation. What action does the nurse take? Again, critical thinking test takers determine their topics first. That's the first thing you want to do, identify what the question is about. It's only after you have identified your topic, then you want to develop a pool of answers in your mind before looking at the options provided. Again, even if what you're thinking about is not listed amongst the option, it has already helped you to develop a pattern of thought towards the right answer. So you can go ahead to choose the next best answer to what you already had in mind. Again, looking at this question, are you able to identify that the topic of the question is about tension in motorax, such that even before I see the option, I'm already thinking of needle decompression as that being uh, the action that I will take. Because if I go ahead to look at the options, I can see obtain a 14 gauge needle. I will need that to carry out a needle decompression. That's how you want to approach the NCLEX. If you're not able to find your topic, 
That's a reason why you failed the NCLEX. Poor test experience. You know, you know, so many of you got to question 75 and you were expecting for the exam to stop. And then 76 came up. And you know that ah, all of my friends, they passed with 75 questions. And then you got 76. And obviously this is totally going to knock you off your guard. And while you are still dealing with that, 77 came up and you're already feeling, ah, I'm going to fail this exam. And then 78, I guarantee you, you got 76 wrong, you got 77 wrong, you got 78 wrong because your mind was not in a good place. I know a colleague who, who, who even had to take a break to the restroom and she broke down crying. You cannot afford to let, let the NCLEX break you. You can't afford to continue to take the test when your composure has been battered. Here's what I advise. You want to put your feet on the floor. You want to place your hands on the table or the desk and close your eyes and take a deep breath. When you feel overwhelmed, close your eyes, take a very, very good deep breath. And most times it doesn't even take more than seven seconds to do this. And this would help to reframe your brain. And that's how you want to manage anxiety on test day. If you have to do this every five questions, that's fine. It's only five seconds and it helps you get question right. You must learn how to manage your anxiety when you are taking the test. Remember, the whole goal is to get questions that are harder and harder and harder. But most often when we get a hard question, we look at it and what's our initial response? Oh God, I don't want to take this question. Oh Jesus, ECG, oh blood of Jesus pharmacology calculation. Oh, I don't remember anything about this. What am I going to do? In this current frame of mind, you are not going to get any question right. You must learn to manage your test experience. Again, don't start counting uh, how many of the last questions you, you think you possibly got right. No, focus and see each question as unrelated to your last attempt. See each question differently. Again, are you a repeat NCLEX taker? Is your test date approaching and your confidence is shaking? You know your content or you can't seem to get answers right on practice question. Here is how we can help and our plan for your success. You can join our one-on-one -on -one NCLEX preparatory class for about to test nurses. We offer an individualized six-day one-on-one class where you get to choose a convenient date. You get to choose a timing that works for you. You get to choose days of the weeks that works for you. And here's what we'll teach you on the course. We're going to teach you test-taking strategies to help you tackle uh, who do you see first types of questions, dedication questions on the NCLEX. We will teach you the skill to be able to find the topic on NCLEX questions. You don't need to be scared about ECG interpretation and analysis. That's part of what we are going to be covering on the course. We are also going to be taking you through NCLEX dosage questions, how to use dimensional analysis to get answers right on the NCLEX. Again, the almighty decision tree. We're going to teach you how you can apply the decision tree, especially on your NCLEX priority questions and also on your evaluation questions. Remember those SATA questions that you're scared of? We're going to help you use the decision tree to get your answers right. And again, there's going to be multiple practice tests during the course. You know, failing the NCLEX doesn't make you a failure. Um, Les Brown, a popular motivator, once said, there are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not yet learned how to win. You might be one of them. You need guidance. You need coaching. Again, say this with me. It is not over until I win. Let me help you.
you can reach me on WhatsApp on the number on your screen. Thank you very much. <laughs>